All right, let's take another look at making uh, Yate, Yate BTS work with the Blade RF XA4. I've tried it in the past and um, I could, well, I'd have to start it so many times. I don't, I don't I lost count uh, before I could get a GSM phone to connect to it. But uh, I tried out the latest Yate uh, that we'll take a look at here. And um, I think it was actually this morning, got the first, uh, first connection as soon as I brought it up, uh, connected to it. I didn't really do a lot of testing after that, and uh, I was going to make this video really fast, uh, but I think it's worth kind of stepping through uh, how this is set up, and uh, and uh, yeah, so this is uh, just a fresh copy of Dragon OS here. I just installed it, and because I did so many steps yesterday, uh, I'm going to start from scratch here, and one thing I know for sure is I had updated my Blade RF firmware, and I don't remember what had firmware I had before, so I really... I can't go back, so we'll just, we've got the, the Blade RF X, uh, FX3 firmware images. You can see the current ones here. I'll go ahead and download that, and it should go in the downloads folder. And we'll use the Blade RF tool to load this. I've got the Blade RF plugged in. You can see it takes a power cycle. So go ahead, unplug, plug that back in, and all right. So all right, that's out of the way. I'm not going to touch Lib RF, uh, Blade RF, or anything yet. Although I did have that updated. Uh, so come over to the support page. Their link is now good for the latest RC. We'll download this. And while that's downloading, we'll take a look at the uh, directions they've got here. All right, so it extracts. You'll get some of the FPGAs uh, that you need to use. And then we got Yate and Yate BTS. So Yate and Yate BTS is already installed in Dragon OS. Um, I'm just taking this approach of um, essentially installing right over it. Uh, and that seemed to work fine. So you can see we'll change in. We'll build Yate first. that configure All right. run make and I know for sure there is um, let me think I think it's make install no API let's see So I know I've used that in the past, but now thinking about it, I didn't the other day when it worked. I don't even know if it makes a difference. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll just do sudo make install, and if uh, I'll try again later once I figure out what that no API is. So. Go ahead and install that. You can see it's not going to overwrite the existing configuration files, and I'll take another look at that too to see if they need to be changed. I'm just doing what worked right now. Gate BTS, do the same thing. Configure it. Make. All 
All right, well, that's finishing. I'm going to install uh, something else here. The screen copy, I think, is what that's short for. I'll use that um, to uh, screencast or screen share my Android phone. So let that install. We'll do. Uh, sudo make install sudo ld config all right so at that point should be there good there i'm not worried about the other steps because uh, i configured that before so let's just skip right to bring up an android phone that actually let me get the phone plugged in first all right well the phone's booting up so what we'll go ahead and do is uh, let me think so we'll do we'll start Apache and because everything is already Reconfigured and set up. We'll go to localhost slash. I think it's NIPC, and uh, so that I'm not adding my subscriber and uh, MZ and stuff right now. I'm just going to do this because I know that my SIM cards start with 310. So we'll do that. Take a look at the BTS configuration. We need to set a band. I'll just go ahead and do 900, and I'll just pick the first available link here I'm not going to change really anything else okay so that's that's set okay and now the phone's on Let's get the phone in here I'll get, get it one of these times go now let's come over here take a look at settings or networks yeah, it's on airplane mode right now so let's start the eight. Ah, ah, oh, almost forgot. Ah, stop, stop. Forgot. We need to, and I'll go ahead and unplug the blade just to be sure here. Plug it back in. Let's see. Okay. Plugged in. that and what I wanted to do was um, need to load the uh, FPGA the one that was supplied in the uh, tarball and you see you'll get that update because uh, the librf uh, or the firmware version uh, is higher than the compatibility of the libblade rf but we'll, we'll try this out. So we got this going. All right, we're going. Let's turn off airplane mode. Take a look at mobile networks. I got it on GSM only. Network operators.
Okay. Connect. We can see, boom. First time. So, to me, that's, uh, that's good news. Uh, I'm not seeing the text this time. Uh, I did get a text about welcome to the network. Uh, well, there we go. Oh. Okay, I've got that. Thing is, I don't think the David thing works. 32843. And actually, the other phone that you can't see on the screen here, it just connected to, which was an S3. So, let me see here. 32843. I don't think. This is going to be something else to figure out here. So, call ended. Uh, but let's see here. So, your allocated phone number is 72. Okay, your allocated phone number is. So, let's see if I can call from phone to phone. 72-3-844. All ended. Um, so definitely made some progress. Um, it could be something here. I know that last time when I did get a successful connection and I was able to call from phone to phone, I had actually um, went through the setting up of uh, subscribers. Both phones are connected. Uh, So we definitely are getting a good connection. I guess we could shut this down and just take a look at these are throwaway MZs anyways. All right, I'm back with a quick uh, add-on here. I thought I was done, but uh, I realized a couple things. Um, I'm just wondering. I chose one, two, three, four, five, but that's I don't know. Maybe that's allocated, but uh, I am able to text. So, uh, well, I can text from this phone to the phone that you can't see, and I got a text. I, and so, if I text back. Okay, so I got a text back, but the number is coming up, I think what was allocated, so let's see, so if I try to call this number, aha, it's ringing, let's see if I can turn the volume up, let's see, so, alright, so if I call, if I call this this number. No. 
So I try to call back. Oh, there we go. Test, test. Test, test. Test. Huh. All right, so it's working. I just need to understand these numbers uh, and how that is configured. Wow. All right, so yeah, there's calls, texting, and a quick connection with the uh, Blade XA4. Um, thanks for hanging in there. Oh, and that is uh, actually um, with uh, the MZ and stuff, but I suspect that if I had just left it uh, alone with the other setting, the Reg XP, it probably would have been fine. So I'll check that again um, and we'll see how that, that works. So, all right.